man, this guy seemed really, really sure that his guarantee from a random YouTuber on the internet, if it's on the internet, it must be true. He was so sure that his guarantee was for real. I, I mean, uh, the very least I could do was like it and love the comment, right? It's the least I can do, right? What's going on, guys? It's Icy Rhythms. Welcome back. And in this video, I want to talk, of course, about Fallout 76. Now, originally, I was going to come on here and just find all sorts of ways to bury this game and talk very negative about something we don't really know all that much about. Just a bunch of leaks and rumors and from what some people feel are very credible sources but we have some new information and i will talk about that but when the please stand by thing originally happened and they ran the stream for like 24 hours or more i just i couldn't believe that there was about to be another fallout game i wasn't expecting fallout 76 i was thinking this could be fallout 5 or this could be a huge surprise in collaboration with, you know, Bethesda and Obsidian or something. What was I thinking, right? What was I thinking those things? I don't know. But all sorts of thoughts and emotions began to happen, especially after they, they finally gave us the trailer and then the name. But here's the thing. Let me just say this really quick before we get back into actually discussing the game. I don't like this kind of marketing in its own little way. It's it's smart, maybe even genius in a way, but it's about being not so vague. It's about being transparent and respecting the customer's time, right? Just tell us what this game is. You could have given this teaser, this not very long, very vague, nothing really to it teaser the first day and people would have been excited and confused like myself of course regardless a, a lot of the stuff that's happening right now would have happened if they'd have just announced the teaser from the jump instead of having us wait you know you got this 24 hour thing going and pete hines is coming on screen with cups and i think at one point there he was pouring something into a cup you got the vault boy and i think there was a dog at one point he had the harpies from game of thrones or something it was just it was sort of fun in its own way it was really cool to talk about and everyone was like oh this it's finally gonna happen they're really gonna announce something this time and then nothing happens right and then we just get this little teaser with nothing to it it's about being transparent and respecting the customer's time it's fallout a lot of people even if this isn't a mainline what we've come to expect fallout game i think a lot of people will still end up buying this game it has the fallout name it just makes sense so with all of these emotions and thoughts that i had and again you know I, I wanted to come on here and just rip the game a new one without really having much to go on i wanted to be a little bit more professional than that but you know these games mean so much that it's hard not to get worked up and feel some type of way about what they're doing with fallout it is open world apparently right take all of this with a grain of salt improvised weapons and base building are the focus now just based on this alone this sounds a lot like the mmo like sort of rust clone rumors ish you know in in that ballpark similar right but this also says it is co-op but not mmo or rust like so it seems like Bethesda is also in panic mode and wants to fix this, repair these, uh, you know, thoughts, feelings, emotions as soon as possible and that we can expect more information soon from a, a reputable source. I don't buy into that. Even if some of this other stuff turns out to be true, I think that they will wait to show us themselves and then maybe give some exclusive details that they didn't talk about at the presser to one of the bigger gaming sites or maybe a more popular YouTuber or something, a magazine. I don't know, but I, I doubt that we hear anything until Bethesda confirms what this actually is. Apparently it's going to feature a scavenger from the surface as the main character. Hence why the vault seems empty other than the main character in the trailer. And that's what was running through my mind. Like, 
They are going to take what they thought was a really good idea with this forced building and scavenging and stuff with Fallout 4. Because in Fallout 4, if you haven't played it and you've played some of the other Fallout games, the building with some quests, I think a couple of the side quests and a few of the main quests is forced. Like you have to do it in order to progress through the game. So they must have thought, even though there was tons of backlash for stuff like that and the lack of really being much of an RPG at all, stuff with the dialogue, there was backlash for all of this stuff. And now here we have a lot of rumors coming from different places while not all the same are saying something similar that this game is about scavenging and building but it's still open world and it's still an rpg upgraded fallout 4 engine but we know that there won't be much of a difference from a visual standpoint between this and fallout 4 i can't really see that happening don't buy too much into that don't feel like this is going to be some visual powerhouse or anything fallout 4 looks good it's the best looking bethesda game ever made but this isn't one of those games on a technical level that i find to be all that impressive maybe that's just me we also see again here at the bottom strong emphasis on building and improvised weapons as opposed to weapon customization as we saw in fallout 4. now i don't know what that will entail i don't know we just need more details we need bethesda to confirm whether or not some of this stuff is true and what this game really is as a side note though as you're seeing here they will also announce the elder scrolls at e3 but i don't know if i'm buying that because as i've talked about many times pete hines said that they are working on two big games before there is another Elder Scrolls, but I mean, who would have expected another Fallout this soon? I mean, it's not like anyone guessed that or anything. What are the chances? What are the chances as I sit here and make this video and think about it that one of the games that Bethesda has this year and just kind of surprises everyone is a new Fallout game? That's just me having a little fun. It was a really good guess. I feel pretty good about it, but it's not like I have inside sources or anything. Will the Elder Scrolls get announced? Maybe that's what Starfield is. I don't know. That is, you know, Pete Hines, that's his job to damage control and to point people into all sorts of different directions other than the one that they're actually working on because when they finally do announce something that is a huge deal then it can be an even bigger surprise everyone is expecting starfield right this science fiction rpg that bethesda has apparently been working on for like six seven years something like that we don't really know but it could end up being just the elder scroll six we don't really know so with that being said fallout 76 I, I i wanted to tear this game apart but we just don't know enough we don't know what this is i, I want to say this i think if if you're a big fallout fan like me whether you, you just you know fallout 4 was your first game you like fallout 3 you like fallout new vegas you've played every fallout and you're just a huge fan through and through i would say wait i would say wait until you know for sure for sure what this game is and everything that it's about because like i said you know I, i've i've said this many times todd howard and company tried to convince us that fallout 4 was going to be a really amazing rpg and a lot of the trailers i don't want to say you know sort of gave any credit to that but it's about it's it's about being patient it's about doing the proper research research and finding out what this game is so that's my video that's my take i will i will obviously have more to say if we do get something credible if bethesda themselves release any sort of details or anything or a new trailer i will upload a video that day discussing it and and how i feel and and give opinions on that but right now we just don't know enough take these leaks and rumors what you're seeing in my video and anything else for that matter grain of salt guys grain of salt we just don't know we don't know where this is going and you know it's I, i've probably said this countless times i don't know about games like this because if it's everything the leaks and rumors are saying it is i 
you know, I, I fear that in a way because if it becomes successful, then I'm, I'm feeling like they're ruining the Fallout name more than they already did with Fallout 4. And like I said, you know, I, I know I've said that plenty of times, but I just want Bethesda to remember what good open world RPGs are and not games that just sell really well, right? Like, I, I feel like maybe Bethesda has gone down that path of, well, we know we can make games that we can market really well and that can sell well, but I don't know about this hardcore RPG stuff anymore. That might have to get put on the back burner for a little while or, you know, what, maybe forever. But Todd Howard did say at one point that he would never make games that weren't RPG. So we'll see what Fallout 76 is all about. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for the continued support. Be sure to give me a like if you like what you see. If you didn't like it, you already know what to do. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitch. I will see you guys soon. Thank you for watching. Take care. Peace.